year since Crimeans voted to break away from Ukraine and join Russia. Since then, the region has been thrown into chaos. Here's a timeline on how we got here. In mid-February, tensions rose when Ukraine's former president fled Kiev due to violent protests. Soon after, pro-Russian forces seized Crimea's parliament on the pretext of protecting Russians living in Crimea. Russian President Putin got approval from the parliament to use force in Ukraine. Russian forces marched into Ukraine and seized Crimea. Putin soon called for a referendum on whether Crimeans wanted to join the Russian Federation, and two weeks later, voters chose to leave Ukraine and join Russia. Since then, the fighting between Ukraine and Russia has left thousands and thousands dead. And just recently, Putin revealed that he was considering nuclear weapons to protect Crimea. Now, both the European Union and the U.S. both condemned Crimea's decision to join Russia and called it illegal. Shortly after, the West hit Russia and Crimea with economic sanctions. Julia Yubova looks at the impact of those sanctions. These people in the city of Simferopol in Crimea are marking a year since the peninsula was annexed by Russia from Ukraine, following a controversial referendum. Some 96% of voters said yes to Crimea joining Russia. The vote caused an international outcry, but most of these people support the outcome. For us, the referendum was a big celebration. Our whole family went. My husband, my son, my mom. Life is a bit more difficult now, but we are so happy that we are in our home country. Despite what anyone says, Crimea has always been and will always be Russian. Throughout the year, Crimeans had the opportunity to swap their Ukrainian passports for Russian ones. Most of the two million people here chose to do it, according to Russia's Federal Migration Service. Many Crimeans say they are happy to be a part of Russia now, but shortly after the disputed referendum last year, the EU and the US applied various sanctions on the region. Several Crimean officials were banned from travel, and Western investment to Crimea was cut. Visa and MasterCard have ceased operations in Crimea making it impossible to pay by credit card and blocking businesses from sending or receiving payments. Inflation in the region reached 42 percent last year, according to the Crimean State Statistics Service. We have to revive the industrial production here and develop the economy. Of course, prices are rising. There are also unemployment issues, but it is nothing catastrophic. Following the annexation, Crimea has also faced energy and transport problems. There are no trains going in or out of the Black Sea Peninsula. But many people here believe it is a temporary issue that the new Russian authorities will overcome. Julia Lubova, CCTV, Simferopol, Crimea.